welcome to a new episode of Friday Night Mail. I am so happy to be here right now talking to you guys, answering your questions, shouting out the winner of this week's giveaway, and just opening your fucking amazing fan mail. You guys are the epitome of the best audience ever. If someone were to say, thank you, you've been the best audience, it would be all of your shining beautiful faces out there in the sea of the crowd because oh, I love you guys so much. I'm excited, let's do it. First off, I wanna remind you guys that if you want anything from my stores, scrimgear.com slash Tara Babcock, check it out. I have a bunch of really cool merchandise. I fucking love this shirt, it's amazing. It comes in men's sizes, women's sizes, anywhere from small to extra large, XXL in some cases, and it's so fucking soft. Never mind this thing that I have right here on my chest, it's not a hickey. I just recorded the sex ed video on the same day as this video, and I was playing with a pinwheel, ouch. Anyway, this week's giveaway winner of a Steam game of his choice is Mike. Congratulations, Mike. Mike wanted a copy of XCOM 2 and I sent it over to him graciously and immediately. He also gave a shout out to my XCOM 2 gameplay on my gaming channel. YouTube.com slash games. Shameless promo number two of the video and it's only been, what, like a minute? Okay, so this week we have you guys' questions. If you want to be in the video with a question, I do these every single week. This week's first question is from Alexandru Kosug. Hey Alex, do you expect a Spanish Inquisition in the comments? What a silly question, Alex. No one expects a Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Ah, oh, Monty Python references, I love it. Okay, now for the real question of the week. Ivan Be Terrible asked, you mentioned things would change if the world was yours. What would you change? I'm gonna try and make the answer to this question not be long-winded as fuck because there are a lot of things I would change. And obviously some of these things that I want to change are just like idealistic. They might not work in real world application. But the first thing I would change is I would make it clear that there should be no censorship. Not even in like primetime TV. I don't feel like kids should be censored from a young age and I don't feel like people should be sheltered and made to feel like it's the biggest deal in the world if someone triggers them. We live in a fucking free country with freedom of speech. That means I have the right to say whatever the fuck I want, it doesn't matter how many people are offended, and you have the right to be offended and retort with whatever the fuck you want. Everything that I do and say is my honest feelings, and I like finding people who are also that open and aren't afraid to say what they want. Even if the jokes that they like might offend someone, or the things that they say, might not be what everyone wants to hear. And that's very important to me, and it seems like this country has lost sight of that. Another thing I would change, if I could, is being sexy wouldn't be seen as some kind of irredeemable quality. It would be a good quality, just like being smart, just like having talent. Talent is somewhat God-given, but you can also gain talent through practice, just like with beauty. I don't see why it has to be so disingenuous for someone to want to be attractive. The idea that everyone is equally beautiful is just as dumb to me as the notion that everyone equally contributes to society. When looking at things logically, everyone has equal worth. I just don't believe that. We should have equal rights, definitely. Like the right to freedom of speech. But there should be nothing wrong with caring about your appearance. And definitely nothing wrong with striving to keep your weight at a healthy range. But obviously the application of that would be hard. I think I would just promote healthy ideals. Also, everyone should grow up gaming. It's one of the best things that ever happened to me. Gamers are more intelligent, more dexterous, better hand-eye coordination. They make better surgeons, doctors, problem solvers. Gaming can help you out of depression. It can keep you busy when your mind just wants to be in the dumps. It's the best thing ever and I recommend it for everyone. So there would be fucking games in schools and more funding for competitive gaming. Oh, and I know a lot of people won't like this, but I will fund research and the advancement of technology, even if it means we test on human subjects or clone humans. Just the eradication of everything that's PC. Teaching people rather than censoring people. Promoting high self-esteem rather than coddling those with low self-esteem. All right, let's get into the fucking unboxings because that took way too long. We've got a package. I love packages. Packages, especially of the squishy kind. Oh, I know who these are from. These are the Princess Peach panties that I wanted, and I love these types of panties because they're super stretchy, so they'll conform exactly to my body. Oh, I'm so excited. This is hashtag princess. Let's put them on. We gotta put them on, right? Hashtag princess. So fucking comfy. Oh my god, I love it. The next thing we have is this Hello Cardio Mario shirt. Oh god, I love these like flowy tank tops. They're like my favorite things now. Sometimes terror merch just has to come off. Oh my god, this so matches my panties. Look. And one more shirt in this package. This one says, bring it on Mario. Oh, this is such a fucking delightfully feminist shirt. But it's pink, so it's my kind of feminism, you know? The kind that doesn't hate men, but challenges them. The kind that would make you an egalitarian. Let's put it on. 
I love the charcoal color, so good. That package was from a slave in training, so instead of saying thank you, I'm gonna say good boy. Next we've got, what is this? Oh my God, no way, someone actually bought me a pair. Nintendo Vans, ah. Oh God, I hope they fit. They have like the retro Mario stuff on it, like there's a Goomba and a mushroom and a fire flower. Game over, oh my God. Oh my God, please fit me. Oh my God, they fit. How fucking awesome is this? Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, these are so sick. I think these actually come from my new slave as well, so you're doing a good job, slave. Look at the tongue. It's the Super Mario Brothers art from the NES. Oh my God. Oh, nothing's gonna top that, I know it. We've got a Miss T Babcock package. Dear LMT, I'm sure this shirt will look cool on you. Oh yeah. Oh, I love the light heather gray. So good. Strong like Donkey Kong. Doesn't rubber tongue fucking know it. New stuff to put on, girl. Good boy, rubber tongue. Oh, everything is so amazing today. My life is so good. Sorry for bragging. I just, I'm so blessed. Like, holy shit. I know who this is from. Pekka sent me this. I'm so Mario'd out this episode. Oh, it's awesome. For packs, I wanted to get a Mario one for me and a Luigi one for Jay, or the opposite, I don't know. I thought that would just be like the coolest thing ever. It's me, Tadio. Tastes chemically. New favorite sunglasses, 100%. Also, this is helping a lot with having the light in my eyes. Fuck you, lighting, I'm wearing fucking Mario glasses. Mm. Hey girl, what you doing? How about I plumb out your pipes? I'm strong like Donkey Kong. Game over. <laughs> We've got a package from Sean B, one of my favorite people who be existing. Oh yeah. Oh God. Why is my life so amazing? I don't deserve you guys. God damn it, I don't. Oh, Resident Evil 4. Nice. Good looking out, girl. Remake of Resident Evil 4. Thank you so fucking much. This is awesome. US agent Leon S. Kennedy must investigate the kidnapping of the president's daughter. We all know the fucking story of this goddamn game. And it's on PS4 too. You know the way straight to my fucking heart. Through slightly less scary games than Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. Amazing. I'm like eating my mustache as I talk and I don't fucking care. Now we've got another package. Ow, I just hit my vagina. And, oh shit, girl. We've got a hero's version. Time to change my undies, don't you guys think? Bow, now, now, now. I love how Luigi's still green, but he's like a pastel green and Mario is pink. Hell fucking yes. Thank you so fucking much. Amazing. These are my new favorite undies. I don't even fucking like undies. So they're gonna be like my new favorite short shorts. <laughs> I'm gonna wear them all around the house. Next item. What the hell? It just says a gift for you. Why would you put a gift note in here and not tell me from whom? This is Get Your Beast On. And it's a picture of Bowser in the background. Oh yeah. And then this piece is, oh my God, someone bought me the dress. It's a Nintendo dress. We have to try both of these on, hold on. First, let's start with the shirt. Shirtless Mario, aw yeah. Get your beast on. I love it, it's perfect just like all the others. The only thing that makes me more excited than new fucking clothes is new games and I got both today. Or new fucking gaming clothes. All right, let's try on the dress. Best dress ever. Oh, I could totally wear this without a bra. I love it. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Ah, oh, this is like blowing my mind. I did not know that I would get so many things that I put on my wish list. In like quick succession, it's like bam, bam, bam. It's like when you're being rammed by like the best penis ever and then like three more of that same penis just like go into your eye sockets. Like that's how I feel right now. I'm like <laughs> Oh, it's so fucking good. You guys are so amazing. We got something from JS. Could it perhaps be a new amazing fucking Dujin? Here's a quick update. The Dujin will be six chapters minimum with 10 pages each. I'm currently working on chapter blue. I haven't sent anything due to being sick for a week, then moving. After I moved, I got sick again and had to work 14 days straight, but now I'm back and I'm sitting on 10 videos. You have to check out his work. He's an amazing fucking artist and he has a YouTube channel, which I'm posting in the description because he fucking deserves every ounce of your support. Until the next time, keep beasting. 
Love JS. There I am, chapter blue. I actually watched the video of him doing this, so this isn't a surprise to me. So fucking good. Ooh! I haven't seen this one. My ass is so much better than in real life. Oh my God. Look at me in my Pikachu hat. I love how I have this like dumbfounded but sexy as fuck look. This is the kind of look that Jay always says when girls have it, he wants to punch them then fuck them because they look so stupid. Post in the comments if you also feel like some girls look so stupid but also so hot that you want to punch them and then fuck them. Maybe like a donkey punch. And then, oh, he made me something for 200K. Congrats, I can't wait until you reach the 500K mile stone hearts. Aw, that's so cute. He even got my thick thighs right. Aw, dude, I love you, JS. You're so amazing. Each of these obviously getting their own fucking pages in my binder. Oh, I love them so much. I cannot wait to see the full Dujin. Once again, his links will be in the description. He's amazing. He's an amazing artist and he makes really interesting vlogs, so you have to check him out. <laughs> All right, we have like three boxes, but I don't know. I don't think anything can best those flat packages that I just got. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh, it's the 3DS game holder. Yes. Oh, this is so awesome. I've never seen this before, but when I was shopping for those shirts and things, I saw this and it was like, oh my God, so amazing. Let's open it. We have to open it. If you send this to me, Nate, you are fucking amazing. You are wonderful. You are such a great person. You need to stop doubting yourself. As I'm eating my mustache, take me seriously and know that you need to stop doubting yourself. Oh my God. I can't wait to get this open. This is such a great statue piece. I love it. <laughs> Oh, it's a little DK barrel. Oh my God. <laughs> Dixie's in there, Jay. Get her out. Oh, this is so awesome. It holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games and a bunch of styluses. Even if I don't put fucking games in this, which I will because I have a lot of DS games, it's just the cutest thing ever. Oh, I love this. Just for right now, it's going right there because it's so fucking amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my God. No way. This is way bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, this is the best thing ever. Oh, I, I am without words for this item. It's so much bigger than I thought it would be. It's so much more amazing. Oh my God. Thank you so much, baby girl. I love you. So 8-bit, it needs to go into my brain. Now I need a Mario to go along with him. Or I'm the Mario, I guess. Oh, I'm starting to get nauseated. Too much excitement for one video. Holy shit. Such a fucking good addition to the Nintendo chair. Oh my God. We've got one more package. I cannot hold back the excitement. Oh my God. <gasps> the Donkey Kong Yahtzee. Hello, LMT, a new member of your plushie collection. Oh my God. Who is it gonna be, girl? <laughs> It's Amy! Amy is someone I looked up to when I was younger and I saw that there was a plushie Amy, something I've always wanted but never actually existed until recently, until like Sonic Boom type stuff. And now I have her. Amy Rose, you're so adorable. Good boy, Rubber Tongue. Unfortunately, Amy cannot stay on this chair. For alas, she is Sega and not Nintendo. But that's okay, because she can go with her boyfriend. Or I guess her wannabe boyfriend, Sonic. In the other room. But this, this is really fucking cool. It's like Donkey Kong Yahtzee with all of the like Donkey Kong characters on it instead of numbers and shit. So fucking awesome. It's on like Donkey Kong. Get ready to do a barrel roll with America's all time number one dice game. This special Donkey Kong Yahtzee includes DK's barrel as the cup and customized dice featuring Donkey Kong icons. Roll your way to victory with classic dice combinations like full house, large, straight, and five of a kind. This is awesome. I played a lot of Yahtzee when I was younger with my grandma, with my parents, and now I have the best fucking Yahtzee ever. Best ever for sure. Thank you so much, you guys. Today has been a fucking dream. This has been the best fucking Friday night mail in a really long time. I got to give things away. I got to answer deep questions. I got to say thanks to people who did amazing things for me, and I got to eat my mustache the whole time and lisp because of it. Lisp. It's such a troll word because if you have a lisp, it's really hard to say lisp. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys make my life so much more worth living. I don't wanna just say just worth living because then that sounds a little bit creepy. And I'm not trying to be creepy. I'm just trying to be intensely grateful for everything you guys do for me. Seriously, like look at my face. Look at my face. I really don't feel like I could be more grateful and more happy and more lucky and more blessed than I am because of you guys. Thank you so fucking much. Oh my God, if you guys wanna sign up for this week's giveaway, link will be down in the description. You guys are just amazing to me. So fucking amazing. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy my ass shots that I'm gonna leave in here gratuitously just for you. This dress is perfect, the tank tops are perfect, the shoes are the most perfect thing I've ever seen in my entire life. 
the panties, the toys. Thank you everyone so fucking much. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this series. If you enjoy the channel, please post your questions in the comments. I'm gonna take one good question each week and answer it on Friday Night Mail's video. I do a giveaway every week. Link will be in the description for the giveaway. I'll also have a straw poll going with it so you can decide whether or not you want a free Steam game, some free Terra merch. Pick the Terra merch, please. Or an autograph date by 10. I love you so much. Have a wonderful fucking weekend because I know I'm gonna have a wonderful fucking lifetime because I have you guys supporting me. Thank you. Eternally. Mwah. From the bottom of my Mario heart, you guys are breathtaking. See you next week with a new Friday Night Mail. Family Fan Friday Mail. It's-a me, Underwario. <laughs>